Hello, my friends, and welcome to another lesson about insects. Ah, and I'm sure you've been out there looking at them, getting really close, and finding out what they are, maybe identifying them, drawing them, writing about them, keeping track of them. But you may have come across all sorts of strange things that may have looked like insects, and maybe you weren't sure what they were. Well, today I've got a special mission for you when you head outside to the field. I want you to look for really different looking things. We're going to be talking about the life cycle of the insect. We want to find out what those different stages of the life cycle look like. Well, let's head outside and see what we can find. And if that's not something you can do today, I also included some examples in picture and video form for you to see all of those stages. Let's go. Hello, friends. We're back out in the field looking for insects, and I've got a good feeling today that we're going to find some really interesting things. I've got my magnifying glass. I've got my sketchbook, pencil. Ooh, I've even got a small container just in case I find something I want to take a little bit of a longer look at. I also have a field guide to help me identify what I might see. Because, you know, insects can be very tricky in their shapes and colors and the things they look like. They can even blend in sometimes, too. Well, let's go see what we can find. Here you can see some examples of eggs, the first stage of the insect's life cycle. The eggs are laid by an adult insect and can take a varied amount of time to hatch depending on the insect. The egg protects the embryo within so that it can hatch safely. Notice how these different eggs are arranged, where they are laid, the colors, any strange looking parts on them. And what do you think those different markings and extra parts might be for? The next stage in the life cycle of an insect is the larval form, or the larva. Notice what these look like. Some of them do look similar. Some of them look different. Where do you think these larvae go after they hatch? Do they have special markings or parts that might help them to meet their needs? And what do you think their main needs are? Some of them seem to be getting quite big and getting prepared for the next stage of their life cycle. The next stage in the life cycle of an insect is the pupa stage. Wow, look at these. Almost like aliens, huh? The pupa stage is a stage of metamorphosis, meaning great change. An insect changes from its larval stage to its adult form during the pupa stage.
The last stage in the life cycle of an insect is its adult form. Once the pupa hatches, the adult comes out and begins the cycle again. Make some observations about these insects, and as you watch these life cycles happen, notice how different some of these look from egg to larva to pupa to adult. Whew, all right, friends. We saw so many different types of insects and so many different life stages as well. Well, let's talk about those, and you know what? Maybe you found enough to draw a complete life cycle of an insect. Maybe you didn't. That's why I've also provided you with this example of the life cycle of an insect. We'll go ahead and label this one, and then you may want to choose another type of insect to show its life cycle. Most insects go through this cycle, and they can look really different, so doing a whole bunch of them might be cool. But let's talk about it. Where did we say it began? We did start with the egg. So let's go ahead and label the egg. Insects very often lay eggs, and they lay them somewhere where they can be protected. This one looks like it might be underground, and for this type of insect, that seems to be a safe place. Remember, the egg then hatches and becomes what? A larva. Creepy, crawly, little larva. The larva will eat and 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 store up energy so that it can enter the next stage. And why don't we draw arrows to show the flow? The next stage is the pupa stage. A very strange looking but very important stage in the development of an insect as it goes from egg to larva to the adult stage. The insect that we can identify as well what kind of insect it is. And it can then begin the life cycle all over again by laying eggs. How fantastic. We just need a fantastic title to go with this. How about the life cycle of an insect? That seems like an appropriate title. And now maybe you would like to explore some other insects. This was a beetle, and it has these features when it's changing, but maybe other insects look different. Maybe the eggs look different, the larva, the pupa, and of course the adult. And color these in and make them look extraordinary. And hey, if you find enough different ones, you could put them together in a book. Create your own insect book. We're learning a lot about insects, and maybe you've even solved that mystery now. Well, friends, I hope you've been very busy, and I'll see you again soon.